welcome to the JJ Show, another great magic trick to really entertain all your friends and family today. Today's magic trick is called the Mixed Up Cards. Now this is very simple, anyone can do it, and I'm sure you'll really entertain everyone that you show it to as well. Check this out. Okay, what we have here is a pack of cards. Now, we're going to take the cards out of the pack like so. Now, as you can see, all these cards are completely and totally different. Not one card the same. Uh, first of all, we'll take the Jokers out. We don't need the Jokers, so we'll get rid of that Joker just there. And we'll get rid of another Joker. There should be another Joker in here somewhere. Where is he? Oh, we've gone past him. Let's try again. And uh, Ah, there he is. Brilliant. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is very, very simple. I'm going to take the cards. I'm going to deal the cards out on the table just like so. There we go. So we've got lots and lots of cards all over the place. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is very, very simple. Um, I would like you to basically point to a card. I'm going to name a card. I'd like to point to it it's somewhere around here. First card I want you to point to would be the Three of Spades. This one? Oh, perfect. Okay. Next card. Next card I want you to point to is the Seven of Hearts. This one? Brilliant. Okay, your next card to point to will be the Nine of Hearts. That one. Okay, brilliant. I'm now going to find the Four of Spades. Uh, I'm going to go for this one. I'll set the Four of Spades. Okay, so we're going through the cards right now of exactly what we decided on. So the first card we said was the Three of Spades. The next card was the Seven of Hearts. The third card was the Nine of Hearts. And the fourth card was the four of spades. And that's mixed up cards. Okay, to do the mixed up cards is very, very simple. All you need is a pack of cards. This is any normal pack of cards. You can buy from any magic shop or borrow it from a friend, anything you like, this will do. We open the cards up, we take out the cards. Now, basically what we need to do is we need to find out what card is the top card. Now we'll have a quick look now. Uh, we know it's going to be the uh, Nine of Clubs. Now to find this out is very simple. Use this method. I'm going to look for the Jokers, you say. As you go through the pack, you're looking for the Jokers very quickly. Very quickly, like this. You're going for, oh, they've got one just there. You keep looking very quickly and you miss the second Joker. So there's got to be another one around here. So at that point, you've spotted the top card, which is the Nine of Clubs. Oh, there he is. We must have missed him the first time. You're now ready to begin. You take the cards. You take the card box, you move them to one side. You take the cards, you spread the cards out on the table. Now, as you're doing this, you've got to keep your eye on the Nine of Clubs the whole time. If you take your eye off the Nine of Clubs, you mess up the trick, so keep your eye on him, but don't make it too obvious. As you take the cards, you spread the cards out on the table, making sure they're all in different and totally different places. No particular order, just mixing them all up just like so. Now, this next part, you ask them to point to the Nine of Clubs. They can point at any card they like. If they point to this one, it's fine. We'll have a look. We know it's not the Nine of Clubs, it's the Queen of Hearts. But at this point, we look at the card, we don't let them see it, and we say, ah, I would like you to point to the Queen of Hearts. Yes, you're naming the card which you've just looked at. So they'll point to another card. Let's say this one here. And you're, oh, well done. It's not the, obviously it's not the Queen of Hearts. It's the uh, Jack of Spades. And we say, right, okay, I'd like to point to the Jack of Spades. They'll point to another one. Sometimes you might be lucky and they point to that card. But if not, don't panic. We'll take this card here. And we go, oh, well done. At this point, we say, right, okay, I'm going to point to the Four of Spades. So I say, I'll go for this one just here. Oh, brilliant. And I say to them, what was the four cards that we asked you to choose? First of all, we had the Nine of Clubs. Then we had the Queen of Hearts. Then we have the Jack of Spades, and finally we finished with the Four of Spades. And that's mixed up cards. Well guys, as you can tell, not a lot of practice needed for this one. Just a little tiny bit, make sure you really get it entertaining, and make sure you get your pattern right to go with this trick as well. It's a great trick to really entertain all your friends and family. Now don't forget we've got some other great tricks for you all to learn. You can really put together a mini magic show to entertain all your friends and family during the holidays. But listen, hit that subscribe button below, give us a like, I'll see you tomorrow.